thought I'd say hi. Hope you're all staying safe at home and not getting too bored. Just in case you are and you're missing me and food tech, I thought today we could make some cakes. So we're gonna make rock cakes. Nice and easy, won't take long. Okay, so firstly, need to wash hands. Okay, once you've done that, we're gonna put on an apron, which unfortunately, I haven't got my lovely frilly Spanish ones because they're all locked away at school. So I've got to make do with this one for today. Okay, right, once you've done that, if you've got long hair, tie it back. Obviously, mine's not actually long enough at the moment, but I'm sure it will be soon. Um, so we need to get our equipment. All we're going to need today is a mixing bowl, a fork, and a dessert spoon. Okay, and then for when we put them in the oven, a baking tray. Okay, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. So, the ingredients that you're going to need today are self raising flour, caster sugar, raisins. Margarine, an egg, and some milk. Okay, right then. So, to start, using your scales, you're going to need 225 grams of flour. Okay, now you can use your spoon to measure it out, or you can pour it straight in. There we go. So that is about, it's quite a lot of flour, there we go, that's about 225 grams. And you're going to put your flour into the mixing bowl. Okay. Right then, next you're going to need sugar. Now we're using caster sugar, which you all know is what we use for baking. Not granulated sugar, because that's what we might have in our cups of tea or coffee at home. So this is granulated sugar because obviously it's a lot finer and that's especially for baking. So we're going to need 75 grams of sugar. Okay, so I'm going to pour that in there. There we go. Pop the lid back on that one. And that is going to go in with your flour. Okay, next you're going to need margarine. Now again, this is margarine perfect for cakes, all right? And we're gonna use 110 grams. Okay, now you can use a spoon to get this out. So, a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so that's about 110 grams, which roughly looks like that. And that's gonna go into the mixing bowl as well. Let's pop the lid back on that. Okay, right, there we go. So, what you're going to do first is get nice and messy, which I know you all love. All right, so hands in, and the idea is that you're going to mix it with your hands until it all comes together like breadcrumbs. So, the best way to do this is rub it through your fingers. Okay, feels all squishy. And then, when it all, once it all starts coming to breadcrumbs, then you can stop. So the idea is to blend all the margarine in with the flour and the sugar. So when it will look, it doesn't take long, pretty much like this. So if you've been baking while you've been off, if you want to send me any pictures or videos, that'd be lovely. I'd love to hear from you, especially those that have already done food tech with me this year. If you've made anything that we've made during class, that'd be lovely. Right, so once you're about there with your breadcrumbs, scrape it all off your fingers. This is where you're not going to need to wash your hands again. I don't know about you, but I need to get all that off. Right, so it should look something like that. Okay, so give your hands a quick rinse. So they're nice and clean and ready to go on to the next step. 
there we go. Okay, nice clean hands. Right, so next you are going to have an egg. All right, just one egg, okay? So we're gonna crack the egg on the side of the dish. What do we do with the eggshell? Yay, in the bin. Okay, then using your fork, you're gonna beat the egg. Okay, once you've beaten it and it's all come together, you're gonna make a nice well in the middle of your bowl, okay? In case you don't, you can't really see that. But basically we're gonna make a hole, which you all know. Okay, we're gonna pour the egg in. There we go. And then you're gonna give it a good stir. All right, we're gonna fold the mixture in together, okay? We're not gonna give it a, a mix like this. We're gonna do it nice and gently and fold it all in together. Okay, so once the egg starts making all of the mixture come together, we are then gonna add the next ingredient, which is milk. Okay, so all you need, I've already measured it out into my jug, but you just need two, just two dessert spoons of milk. And then you're gonna pour that in. There we go. Give it a little stir. Okay, and now we're gonna add the final ingredient. Okay, now the final ingredient today is raisins. Now, you can use whatever you like to make rock cakes. You might wanna use um, chocolate chips, which is what I've used earlier, hence why I've hardly got any left. Um, you can use raisins, you could use um, cherries, cherries and coconut, that's a nice one. Or um, with your chocolate chips, you could grate some orange zest in, that's really nice too. So today we're gonna to use raisins, so we're a little bit healthy, okay? And we need approximately 110 grams of raisins, okay? So we'll just measure those out like so. There we go. Once you've got your raisins, we're gonna pop those in. Okay, now you're gonna give it all a really good stir together until it all, the whole mixture starts to come together to make one big lump of mixture. There we go. Doesn't take long, dead easy. Okay, try and scrape it all off the bottom because we don't want to waste any mixture. Right then. So once it's all come together like that, just scrape it off our spoon. it's all come together it should look like that right so the next step then is the baking tray now there we go I've got some grease proof paper I know at school we normally use margarine but if you're lucky enough to have some grease proof paper at home then you can use that like I have okay so what we're going to do now is you're going to take your mixture out with your hands. Don't try and mould it into something pretty because these are rock cakes, so we need leave them to look like um, like rocks. Okay, so I'm literally going to scoop it out and plonk it on. Now, this um, amount of mixture should make about nine rock cakes. Okay, but if you want to make more, then you can just make them smaller because, to be honest, the smaller they are, I think you can probably get double out of this mixture. Right, so there we go. Not sure if you can see those. Can you see those okay? Something like this. There we go. Okay. Oh, I might have made these a little bit big. There we go. There's another one. We're going to take some off these so that we've got nine nice big rocks. Lovely. Okay. And then I would suggest you give your hands another quick rinse. Okay. And we're nearly done. So, next step, we're going to pop these in the oven. So, hoping yours are looking a little bit like mine. I'll just stick that raisin back on there. 
Now they're going to go in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes on 180 degrees. Now, depending on how good your oven is, just keep an eye on them because as soon as they start going golden brown, they're pretty much done. Okay, so rather than make you all wait for 15 or 20 minutes, here's some I made earlier. Now these are chocolate chip ones and they're absolutely delicious. Okay, so like I say, chocolate chip raisin, any ingredients really, lovely. Right, and that's it. So good luck with making them. Okay, love to see some pictures on how you get on. Um, and if there's any requests on any other, any other things you want to make with me, that would be lovely. Stay safe, paddocks. See you soon. Bye.